Junior Jocelyn Erickson can be seen on the court and catching on the field at Sandra Day O'Connor High School. The dual sports star was ranked as the ninth best softball player in the country. Probably one of the toughest kids, not the toughest kids I've ever coached. She will give you everything she's got every day of practice. And she's a kid who doesn't need basketball. Erickson committed to the number one ranked team in the country, University of Oklahoma, as a softball player in eighth grade, showing her passion and desire for the sport of softball. I love the competition in softball. It's a failure sport. I really like playing outdoors too, you know, getting dirty, diving plays. There was hope and excitement for the upcoming season after last year being cut short, but everything ended abruptly for Erickson in January, tearing her ACL during the second basketball game of the year. I thought I had just like dislocated my knee or something. I was, I got a rebound, I was dribbling down the court, tried to juke someone out and my knee gave out. She was like, oh, I'll be okay, I'll be okay. She was trying to play the next week on Tuesday. As Erickson continues to recover, she hopes to be back at full strength in six months and learn from her first major injury of her career. I just think after it's all done, when I look back on it, I'm going to be thankful that I went through it. Despite not being in the lineup, softball head coach Melissa Hobson is glad to have her catcher continue to make an impact on the team. Her being around, we still get to feel her leadership. We still get to feel her presence and her intensity for the game. When Erickson steps on the court and field again next season, it'll be for the final time at Sandra Day O'Connor. In Phoenix, Zachary Larson, Cronkite News.